Hi and thank you for joining us on another video segment today. What I'm going to be covering today is Amazon Mechanical Turk. If you have an Amazon account, you can sign up for Amazon Mechanical Turk very simply by going to the site. Go to the URL that's on my browser right now. And once you, once you get here and sign in with your Amazon account, you can come in and request an Amazon Turk account. It's just going to be a simple button click. It takes about 28, I'm sorry, 24 to 48 hours. And um, once it's approved, you'll get an email. And um, all you have to do is log in again, and suddenly everything's working fine. Now, I want to emphasize that Amazon Mechanical Turk is not affiliate marketing nor is it a get-rich-quick scheme for you to come here and make lots of money every single day. However, it is a way to make a nice supplement to your income. The main thing to be concerned about on Amazon Mechanical Turk are things called HITS. These are human intelligent tasks. They're tasks for you to perform. Um, I'm showing you an example today. I've clicked the HIT tab and I'm clicking all HITS available to me. And I'll cover what this means in just a moment. But what we are seeing are jobs that are available for me to do. Little tasks that I can perform. As you'll see over here you have the definition or the title of the task that gives you a brief description of what it is. You can always click on that and expand and get a more uh, detailed description of what the task is going to be. <clears throat> you can see the number of tasks in this particular category, in this group, that you can perform. There are 9,000 of them. Keep in mind that you're competing with others against doing these tasks. The reward is three cents per task that you complete. And for each task, you're allotted 60 minutes. To learn more about the task or to accept the task, you're going to click View Hit in this group. Keep in mind that sometimes this link will not be available as you may not meet the qualifications for this particular task. I'll cover qualifications shortly. Okay, I've opened up one particular hit here for you to look at. This actually has instructions at the top and at the bottom, a task for you to perform. Right now I can't perform this task because I haven't accepted it yet. You can, at the top or the bottom, click the accept hit button. Or, if this particular hit is confusing or you don't think that you can perform it accurately, you can click the skip hit button and it will bring the next one available for you. Keep in mind that if you're going to accept a hit, make sure that you can perform the hit. This has to do with um, affecting, if you're, if you're not accurate and, and um, responsible in making sure you do the best job for the particular hit that you're doing, it will start to affect your qualification. And again, I'll cover qualifications momentarily. Um, <clears throat> once you accept a hit, the uh, button down here that says you must accept the hit before you can submit this result that will actually light up and once you complete the hit once you complete the task that you're assigned you're going to click the submit button that would be here once you click the accept hit button that will submit your result to the company that has placed the hit on the site and they're going to either re uh, they're going to either accept it or, or reject it if it's accepted you get paid if it's rejected you don't again those two circumstances, whether they accept or reject your hit, is going to affect your qualification. And the qualification is very important. I'll cover that now. Okay, so I've clicked the, qual the qualification tab. Under each of these major tabs here, you're going to see some sub-menu items here. Now if you'll notice when I click on qualifications, these are going to show qualifications that are assigned to me. The main one to be concerned about today that I want to show you is your hit approval rate. If you click this link here, this will tell you how this is calculated. Your approval rate is basically just that. For all the hits that you submit, it's how many approvals that the company that submitted the hit has approved. In other words, how many jobs you've done correctly and the company has approved your task. The rejection rate also is another statistic that you need to be worried about. These are the number of hits that they've rejected. Okay, These two are going to be total opposites of one another. In other words, the less rejections you have, the higher your approval rate is going to be, and vice versa. When you first sign up for Amazon Mechanical Turk, 
your approval rate will be 100% and your rejection rate will be 0%. As you perform tasks, again, as you perform tasks and more, more things are approved, your approval rate will stay at 100. The more things that get rejected, the more it will subtract your approval rating from 100 to 90 percent to 80 percent and so on. That, that score will continually decline as you get more rejections. <clears throat> if we come over to the hits page here one more time, and I'm going to make sure I click the um, all hits button. If we pick a few of these categories here, and I'm under the all hits, now you'll notice over here um, some of these some of these have a, a qualification where um, they show that you have to request that qualification in order to work on this. Some of them say you have to take a qualification test before you can work on the task. Some of these, for example, the one in the blue, generally meaning that you're able to do that qualification, if I click the title and I expand it, here it tells you what your qualification ratings for being able to do this job is and for this particular one for example it says that your approval rate cannot be less than 98 right now my value is 100 so therefore I can complete this task if for example my my um, approval rate was below 98 percent this link would not be active so I wouldn't be able to go ahead and perform any of these So it shows it goes to show that if you're not very careful and you half heartedly do your HITs, your HIT tasks, um, and let your approval rate start falling, generally below 90% is bad and you're gonna have a harder time finding HITs to complete. Instead of walking you through an HIT and confusing you, I'm not gonna do that today. And the reason I'm not gonna do that today is because all HITs are dramatically different from one another and I would rather not show you one and have that be the impression that that's what all HITs are going to be like. Um, so in that case I'm going to steer away from showing you and walking me through one. But these are all very simple tasks. Just a word of advice, the ones that say request qualification or take a qualification test are generally ones that you might want to steer clear of. They're going to take longer to get those particular qualifications and oftentimes as you can see here, amounts two cents and eight cents per hit. They're really not going to pay any better. Um, I'm not saying stay away from those. I'm just saying in general, those are some things that you might want to look at. Try them out for yourself and, and and see if I'm wrong. I don't think I am, but in those cases, I've noticed a majority of them were much more difficult to get into. There was a lot more to read, a lot more instructions, and they were more detailed. Um, but that's something that you're going to have to explore for yourself and figure out which ones are the best for you to do. The last thing I'm going to mention is that once you have a, a significant number of hits that are approved and you have a monetary value that's building up, you can always go to your account button here and if you click on this button, you're going to be seeing information about the particular hits that you have approved, rejected, or abandoned. Again, be very careful about uh, submitted uh, your HITs that you've submitted that are returned or abandoned. Um, that's one thing I didn't go into. You can actually abandon a task while you're performing it. Uh, I would not recommend doing it. That will start lowering your qualification scores. Um, but over here you can see the ones that are approved, the ejected, rejected or the pending um, HITs. And um, you can also see your total earnings. Now, that's, now once you have a significant amount of earnings, how do you get paid? This is very simple. If you go to the top, you can click on account settings. Once you've clicked on account settings, you're going to come over here to withdraw or transfer your earnings. And you're going to enter Amazon Payments. From here, you're going to go ahead and sign in with your Amazon.com password. Okay, from here, it's very similar to PayPal. What you can do here, there's a couple of options. Um, one, well, there's two options, actually. You can add a bank account or you can instantly purchase with an Amazon gift card. You can choose either one of those that you want. Um, adding a bank account generally requires that you add your account number and your routing number and that you also get an approval which means that the Amazon um, the Amazon payment system will send you a certain amount of money and you have to let them know how much money came into your account. That's just to verify that it is you and that you do have access to your account and that you're authorized to, to um, have access to your account. Um, so once you do that um, you're going to have a balance at the top and you'll enter the amount that you want to transfer over and 
and you can either transfer it to your your approved or verified bank account or have them send you a uh, a Amazon gift card. Either way you do that, that's how you get your money after you've performed all your tasks. So I thank you for watching and have a great day.